Hello, Solomon. I wanted to just address an issue that I've been mulling over for some time. Um, it's my past partner for the last four and a half years to um, help him out with his business that he's been working at for about a year and really feels he needs support. And I'm wondering if this would be a good idea to move forward with it and to give me more direction to commit to our relationship as well. So it's kind of convoluted, but there you go. <laughs> Almost everything all of you say is convoluted. We're here to unconvolute it for you. We have already picked up on your inhibitions, yes? Mm -hmm. You have your own set of, we're going to call these healthy fears around this particular move, yes? Yes. From being on the receiving end of your intuitive self, how much faith and trust do you have in your connection to your intuitive self that is there to guide you and support you on your journey? That's what I'm trying to discern because I feel it in my body and I'm wondering if it's the heat and the hot sweats in the middle of the night or is that astral traveling because I'm wondering if I do that too. You do, but not to the same degree. Okay. So all of you will experience things in different ways but all of you experience certain things in the same ways. Your body being a gauge. Mm -hmm. Understanding the own, your own signals within the body will enable you to make decisions and choices as they arise. So it would be really easy for us to sit here and give you specific answers to all of your questions but then when you leave here you're going to have another question and 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 another question we would prefer to guide you through answering your own questions so that when the next question arises you have a much clearer idea of how to source through all the rubble to find the answer that you're striving to find yes yes understand so your connection with your intuitive self all of you have an intuitive self your intuitive self being that which we refer to as your higher self that that part of you that has the answers to all your questions but at times seems so far away it's almost as though it's a distant relative yes mm -hmm. By practicing the ideas of self-awareness, by practicing the ideas that keep you in alignment with this feeling that you're in right now, which is of support, which is of love, which is of compassion, which is of sincerity and being genuine, yes? Yes. By finding yourself in those moments, this is where you're going to find those answers. By listening to what the body is saying. Is the body experiencing ideas of tightness, of clenching, of discomfort? Is the body reacting in a way that when you wake up in the middle of the night, you're automatically experiencing ideas of anxiety? Yes or no? Yes. Sign would be? Sign would be that that's a fear. Now, the question is, what is that fear based upon? Yes, because mm -hmm. there are healthy fears. Let's mm -hmm. face it. There are healthy fears to have. It is a healthy fear to not jump off of the top of a mountain. Yes? Yes. That's a healthy fear. So you can't possibly look at all fears as being something that you need to address in the sense of move through your fear and get beyond that fear because they're not all necessarily ones that you want to relinquish. So now you've woken up in the middle of the night, you've experienced this idea of anxiety, you're feeling it in your body, yes? Yes. Now you're aware of these feelings, the anxiety comes up, the fear comes up, then what you, would you be thinking? Put yourself in that place, then what would your thought process be? I would probably think that that's something incongruent to my 
higher self, to my betterment. In other words, not necessarily exactly what you would like to be doing with your life? I just want it to be a positive experience. I'm afraid to feel kind of stuck. So it's like to make a decision because then I have to live with the light, live with the choice that I make. <laughs> yes, to a certain degree, but there's also opportunities to make new choices. Along the way. Along the way, yes. So what we would recommend in situations like this where there is some concern and there is some financial commitment involved, there is some emotional commitment involved, there's the idea of commitment, yes? How does that make you feel? I'm, I'm afraid of that word. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was committed for 23 years. Yes. <laughs> and then there's been times when you've felt as though commitment would have been the only thing in the world that you would have preferred to feel, but then that which you were committed to was no longer there, yes? Mm -hmm. Adding to the idea of, of more, fear of commitment. And more insecurity, exactly. Yes. So, rummaging through all of this and all of the decisions that go along with this particular choice that you're finding yourself in, knowing that you're not 100% certain maybe don't jump in a hundred percent yes there is the idea of taking baby steps mm -hmm. there is the idea of not giving it all away in the very beginning of any commitment yes yes this is why people begin dating and then this is why if the dating goes well they begin staying at that person's place so a little bit here, a little bit there, and then if things are going well, then eventually they might bring in a toothbrush or a pair of pajamas or their favorite snuggly. And then when that is going all well, then eventually they might actually move in. Those are called baby steps, yes? yes? You always have been, but you don't always have to be the all or nothing kind of gal, yes? Yes, that's what I need to learn, moderation. Yes. Balance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> T-bird. <laughs> So, do you see how it would be easy for us to say yay or nay, but really, now all of you have the opportunity to assess your situations with the understanding that, first of all, how is the body reacting? And that'll be different for everyone as well. Some people may experience a, 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 warm, a warming of the core, and for some of you, that may be a sign to run. And for some of you, that may be a sign to dive in. But you need to start understanding what those signs are in your own body. And the only way that you can really do that is to begin to experiment. I've been using my pendulum. Yes. And each time my pendulum is very clear, yes. Swinging up and down. And then I wonder, well, the pendulum feels my power, maybe what I think is best. It can. So I'm like, that's Pendulums wishy washy. Pendulums are one of those things that we would say trust in them 82% yeah. of the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Approximately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so? And then God speaks to us through one another, and then my sister passed away. Two of them I've just lost in two years, the same month, October. And she, her picture is on my hutch there and both of the sisters and so I'm talking to them too and then I hear a whisper but then she told me two different answers before so I'm like oh okay so I'm like a little bit confused <laughs> we'll bring it back into bring it back into that idea that you're going you're going to hear and receive that which you're more in alignment with at that particular moment. Right. Mm -hmm. So, if at that particular moment you're, I'm game, you're going to hear more of, I'm game. Mm -hmm. Just like the pendulum is going to swing more in your favor of whatever it is at that particular moment that you're craving more of. Mm -hmm. So, the idea behind communicating with your guides and your teachers and those that are around you from the non-physical realm, communicating with your intuitive self, communicating with through your pendulum, utilizing all the tools that are available to you, you first need to get yourself into a state of 
clarity of neutrality where all options are equally as, en as enticing and at that particular moment in the stillness in the quiet that you have provided for yourself wherever that may be you will hear a message or messages that are not coming as a direct result of the brain interpreting what it is that you want in other words you will be receiving clear messages from your higher self that is there to work in your best interest and in your best interest only but you can't do that if you're not in a position to do that right prepare myself properly to receive the the guidance right yes pay attention yes and for some of you that's going to be in different <laughs> situations and different scenarios in different places for you being an outside person it's going to be in the quiet of nature it's going to be getting into the trees on your own you're also very sociable you're the social butterfly so you always like to have people around you yes 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 take some time out mm -hmm. Take some time for yourself and explain to the people around you that you just need to take some time for yourself to become more in tune with who you are because you can't do that fully and completely if you're constantly engaged with other people. Right. So get out into the nature, get out into the world around you and the offerings that are enticing to you that bring you peace and joy that you know in that particular environment you will be more receptive to hearing the information that you're craving because you are in a environment that is peaceful to you, that is quiet, without the chatter, without the noise without the influence of other people, without the influence of cars, without the influences of the exterior world, being at one with nature is where you're going to be in full alignment with your higher self, with all of source creation. And you will get the answers that you're craving. I do ask questions and I do write it down in my journal at times. And then I look back at my journal and go, oh, well, I was done then, but then the next day I'm not done. Yes. So I'm wondering, You're what we would call a waffler. I know I'm waffling. I got one foot in the black and cold and one foot in the heat. Yes. It's not a good place to be. It's not a bad place to be either. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable because because of this, the the butterfly effect of who you are, if you had your way, you would be all over everywhere at every given moment, yes? Yeah. Yeah. So you should introduce yourself to your scatter friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Open your eyes at that one. Ah! Yes. Honing in and zeroing in at some point is good for the soul as long as it is what the soul is actually craving to do. Otherwise, you're going to take feeling stuck to a different place of feeling stuck. Mm -hmm. So, when you're talking about this particular business, is the idea of that particular business something that makes you go, oh my gosh, yes? To a degree, yes, it is. So feed on that for a while. Mm -hmm. Figure out what it is about that that is satisfying something inside you that you're craving. Well, just for example, to see you and Steve working together as a unit is really appealing to me. Well, I am and, not with Steve oh, yeah, all I know. the time. <laughs> I don't want to be with them all the time either. <laughs> and I won't be, because I'll have a lot of independence. So this also is a prime opportunity. Remember this from earlier in the conversation, before we came into play fully, that this is an extremely opportune time to start new businesses. Mm -hmm. Those are the signs to pick up all along the way and to put them into the baskets that you have placed in front of you, in other words, the pros and the cons. Mm -hmm. Timing in your reality means a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. In our reality, not at all. Mm -hmm. But for you as human beings existing on your planet, timing really does boil down to almost everything. If the timing is slightly off, that could make or break a deal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So, research. We always start with the soul and the desire of the soul. 
We asked a question, does it make you feel excited? The answer was yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Now why not take that yes and go a little bit farther and then ask the same question, how do I feel about this guy? Does this make, bring me to a feeling of excitement? Yes or no? Yes. But so we, have a, got, we have a past that's kind of scary too, so then... So you're going to live in the past. Well, you may as well meet your past friend. Yeah. <laughs> so now you've got past and scattered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This, is, this is the now mm -hmm. moment. That doesn't mean disregard what has happened in the past, but you can use those experiences of the past as a learning opportunity for how to translate that into something that you would prefer to experience in the now. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. So now you've got lots of yeses. Yes. Is this helping? <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you so much. <laughs>